Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best budget phones in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To find out more information about these budget phones you can check out the description below and also don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Moto G7 Power. The Moto G7 Power is a very powerful smartphone that comes at a very reasonable price. This smartphone is a very great choice for those who want a budget phone with many great features. It's a big phone with a bit of a low resolution display, but the battery life of the Moto G7 Power is one of the best. It has a pretty simple and nice looking design, the bezels are small and it has a notch at the top of the display. It measures 6.28 by 2.99 by 0.37 inches. It has a great 6.2 inch display and overall the screen looks great with a small notch on the top and it's a bit larger and it displays the Motorola branding. On the back it has a metallic blue glass back plate, it has a fingerprint sensor and a circular camera that looks pretty good. It has a USB-C charging port, a SIM micro SD slot and a 3.5mm headphone jack and of course the power button and the volume rocker buttons. The 6.2 inch LCD has an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and the resolution is 1520 by 720. Even though the resolution is not that good, the screen still looks very great. The Moto G7 Power is very durable, it uses the Gorilla Glass 3 and you don't have to worry about accidental drops. It's not water resistant, but it is water repellent which is good. It packs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 processor with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, but the great thing is that you can add up to 512GB of external storage. It has a 12 megapixel camera on the rear along with an f2.0 lens and lots of shooting modes. It delivers accurate colours in a range of lighting conditions. Overall the rear camera is great and it can capture lots of great pictures. Also, the front-facing camera comes at 8 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture. It has a good enough audio system with a peak volume coming out at 88 decibels, which is loud enough to fill a big room. Overall, it's a great budget phone that you should consider checking out. At number 4, it's the Honor Play. Moving on, we have another great phone with an amazing performance that doesn't cost too much. This one is aimed at mobile gaming enthusiasts and has HPU Turbo technology built in. It has many more great features that make this phone one of the best budget phones. It has a nice display, great design and on top of that the performance of this phone is just amazing. It has a full metal unibody and it's very comfortable to hold. It has a 6.3 inch screen and has a 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio with pretty thin bezels. The dimensions of Honor Play are 6.2 by 2.9 by 0.29. It has a small notch at the top to house the front camera, small speaker and more. On the bottom of the screen you'll see the Honor logo, which doesn't cover much space. It has a full HD Plus panel and the colours on the screen are great. On the bottom you have a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB-C port and a small speaker, which is the only speaker on the phone. On the back it has a fingerprint scanner and the camera and on the sides of course the volume rocker and the power button. It has a pretty great screen coming at 6.3 inches at a resolution of 2340 by 1080p. It's packed with a fast and powerful Kirin 970 CPU with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage space which you can add up to 256GB with a micro SD card. In terms of gaming, this phone is one of the best in the market and it provides great gaming experiences. The game suite mode of this phone allows you to record your game, lock the phone's navigation keys, mute incoming calls and these are great for a better gaming experience. It runs on Android 8.1 Oreo which is great and it has a dual rear camera with 16 plus 2 megapixels which can capture some great details. It's not something too flashy but you can capture plenty of great pictures with the rear camera of this phone. This is a well spec phone which is great for gaming and everyday use. If you want a budget phone that has a great performance, you should consider taking a look at this one. At number 3, it's the Xiaomi Mi 9T. The Xiaomi Mi 9T is another amazing budget phone that has a very stylish design, great battery life and amazing specs. It doesn't have water resistance or stereo sound, but still, given the phone's price, you will get excellent value. 
The Xiaomi Mi 9T is a great looking phone with a buffed aluminium frame that melds smoothly into the phone's front and rear glass panels. It has a full screen with no notches or whatsoever thanks to the pop-up selfie camera which in my opinion is amazing. It feels very slick thanks to the curved body. In the front, it's protected by Gorilla Glass 5. It has a great headphone jack and also it has a USB-C port and a mono speaker at the bottom. And on the right side, it has the volume rocker buttons and a power button. It has a very great 6.39 inch display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340p with Super AMOLED tech, which delivers amazing experiences at a very reasonable price. It also has great viewing angles and the brightness is strong enough for outdoor use. It's equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 SoC chipset that has two ARM Cortex-A76 and six ARM Cortex-A55 cores. These can clock up to 2.2 GHz and 1.8 GHz perfectly. It has 6 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal storage. It has an amazing performance that can complete any task without a problem. It packs a 4000 mAh battery, which is amazing and can last all day long easily. The Xiaomi Mi 9T also supports fast charging up to 27 watts, which can charge the phone fully after just over an hour. It has a triple rear camera and a 20 megapixel pop-up selfie camera and also can shoot 4K videos at 60 FPS. The three cameras in the back can deliver amazing pictures. It has plenty of shooting modes from pro mode to automatic with AI scene detection. The main camera is 48 megapixels, the secondary is the 8 megapixel telephoto lens and the 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. These three combined can deliver very detailed photos. With the portrait mode you can also change your entire backdrop. Overall this phone is amazing and you should consider taking a look at it if you've already decided to buy a budget phone. At number 2 it's the Samsung Galaxy S10e. Moving on, we have a great phone, this time from Samsung. The Samsung Galaxy S10e is an amazing budget phone that feels just as premium as the top tier phones. It has a very beautiful design, amazing performance, and it has almost every feature that the S10 and S10 Plus have. It comes in white, black, yellow, and green. It has a very beautiful design. It looks nearly the same as the S10, with some minor different features, which are great. It has an Infinity-O display and that looks perfectly fine. It has pretty thin bezels and carefully moulded glass. The back side is shiny but has a grippable casing which looks pretty awesome. It doesn't have the Infinity Edge like the S10 and the S10 Plus but in my opinion it's better to have a flat display. A great feature is that the fingerprint scanner is not on the back of the phone but it's at the power button and it's extremely fast. It has a USB-C port, microphone port, speaker grill and a 3.5mm headphone jack and these are placed at the bottom. On the right side it has a power button and on the left it has the volume rocker and the dedicated Bixby button, which in my opinion was not necessary. It has a 5.8 inch AMOLED display which delivers very bright, sharp and amazing colours along with pretty crisp detail. It has a 2280 by 1080 resolution which looks brilliant. It has the Snapdragon 855 chipset which comes along with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It comes with plenty of shooting modes that deliver amazing detailed pictures. It has a single 10 megapixel front facing lens which has an ultra wide mode that zooms out a bit. This one too has some great shooting modes and my favourite is live focus. The Samsung Galaxy S10e has a 3100 mAh battery that's not the best but it can last you a day and in my opinion that's good enough. Overall this one is one of the best budget phones. When it was first released it was a bit more expensive than a mid-range phone but right now it comes at a very reasonable price and you should check this one out. And at number one it's the Google Pixel 3a. Moving on to our top pick, we have the Google Pixel 3a. This one is one of the best budget phones on the market today. It has an excellent battery life, amazing build quality and many more features that make this budget phone look and feel like a top-notch premium phone. The Google Pixel 3a has a very nice looking design. It's pretty light, measuring at 6 by 2.8 by 0.3 inches and it weighs just 3.2 pounds. It's entirely made out of plastic, but it still looks great. It has AGC's Dragon Tail strengthened glass, which is not as great as the Corning's Gorilla Glass, but it's not bad. It has a USB Type-C port on the bottom and a headphone jack on the back. On the right side, it has the volume rocker buttons and the power button. It has a pretty nice OLED display with a 2220 by 1080p resolution. The screen looks great and delivers great color accuracy. 
It has a Snapdragon 670 processor, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It performs well and can complete everyday tasks without a problem. It has a single rear camera at 12.2 megapixels with an f1.8 aperture, and even though it doesn't sound like a top-notch camera at only 12 megapixels, it can take some amazing pictures, and this camera is compared to other top-notch camera phones like the S10. The portrait mode is on another level on this one. It delivers so much detail, and it feels like the picture was taken with a regular camera. On the front, it has an 8 megapixel camera that can take great selfies. It has a 3000 mAh battery, which is small, but it can last all day long, and overall it's a phone that has so many great features and specs. It doesn't cost much, and it's one of the best budget phones in the market today. If you've already decided to buy a budget phone that has a lot to offer, you should consider taking a look at this one too. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.